Mission Control. There you go. It completed 15 fleet expeditions. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our expedition playthrough. And we just did the glass bead milestone. Let me look in here for you. Glass bead, that is in phase five. So, yep, glass bead is finished. So now we just need to get our uh, waypoints, which is the uh, save beacons. We need to go over and do that. We need to discover uncharted systems and do our explorer's guild missions. And I think we are done officially with the mission control, our uh, freighter missions. All we need to do is go back to our freighter and do that. So let's go do, do that right now. Oh, or get kicked out of our starship. One of the two. Come on. There we go. Just being uh, a crazy, like, I don't even know. Didn't want me to get in my, uh, my ship. That's okay. But yeah, the last we uh, knew, one of our uh, freighter missions was probably got, you know, one of our frigates got damaged. But they should have returned by now, so let's go see how that worked out. Hopefully, I mean, fingers crossed that nothing happened, but either way, we went on two different missions, and that was the other day, yesterday, I believe, yesterday. I don't even know. The days are all blending together, but we did. It's been more than 24 hours, so we should be set. All we have to do is actually uh, debrief our commanders, and we should have the uh, freighter missions done. So I have to come up here, and this is the one thing I wish they would change. You have to literally land on your freighter, go all the way up here. I mean, I get it that they want you to interact and stuff like that, but it just feels like a pain in the butt. I have to come back up all the way up here. Oh, he got damaged. He's not dead, though. If he was, if the freighter exploded or anything like that, or the frigate exploded, it would be black. If it's red, that means just severely damaged, which is a good sign. Not great, but good. It's not gone. It's just damaged. So we're, I'm going to let you guys uh, pause the video if you want to read the debrief. I don't go through because it just it would make this video like way too much longer, you know, and boring. I don't think it's too exciting to read everything that happened on their journey. Maybe I'm wrong, but if I am, you guys can just fix it by uh, pausing the video. Oh, we have one damaged on this one, too. This is my group of like hardcore guys. Why would why would you get damaged? One of my my ships got damaged on that. That's OK, though. He, they all made it back. That's all that matters. Even if it's damaged, it's okay. Mission control. There you go. It completed 15 fleet expeditions. So we did that. And now our, our uh, whole thing is done. So let's do this real fast. Mission control. We'll accept the reward. And we got our salvage fleet beacon, cargo bulkheads, salvage fleet mining unit, salvage fleet combat unit. So those are upgrades for your freighter. Let's go into our uh, our inventory. Oh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff we got to get rid of. All right. So salvage fleet beacon. This goes on your freighter. So you can put it in here. I want to just put it in my technology uh, section of my inventory. That way I don't take up any room in my general inventory. We'll do that as well. And one more. And remember, this is just like your other technology. You can have three of each. Now, the weird thing is, look at that. They're all different upgrades, but they all, because they're upgrades, they balance each other out. So I don't know, they give each other a boost. I don't know why that is, but they're for different things. So, you know, salvage, because they're all salvage frigate modules, but they all do different things. And so you can have up to three of each one of these. So I can have three of these orbs right here, these globes. I can have three of those. I can have three of these cool scanners, and I can have three of these mining laser things. So I don't know why they give each other a boost, but hey, it works for me. I don't care. Oh yeah, cargo bulkhead as well. So cargo bulkhead will let us expand our t our uh, our inventory on a uh, on a freighter. But the thing is, your inventory is limited by your level. So I'm a class A level, which means I can't go to the max. The maximum I would be able to unlock all this bottom row right here. But because I'm not a level S, you need an S class in order to do that. Because I'm uh, only an A class, I can't unlock that yet. I have to upgrade the level of my ship. Or my freighter. And so, I don't think, as far as I know, you cannot. Let me check that. I don't think you can upgrade the level. You have to get a new freighter, but let me double check. Let me double check. So if you go to this little upgrade uh, control panel right here, this will let you choose your colors. You can upgrade whatever you want to do. Purchase upgrades. So this is where you would buy your upgrades for your, uh, your freighter. So you can buy your different, like, uh, warp cells or, uh, Hyperdrives. So that's not it. 
And then I think you can only add additional storage. Yeah, see? I'm at max level because I'm only a uh, class A. Max storage level reached, so I'd have to buy another freighter, a brand new freighter that is a level or a class S. And so that is why you want to get a class S before you start putting all these upgrades and stuff in. Because the other thing is, you cannot move these upgrades. These upgrades are permanent for whatever freighter you put it on. So definitely, definitely, you know, plan ahead. Make sure you have the freighter you want, your forever freighter. Make sure you have your forever freighter because it is permanent and you'll have to start all the way over if you want to do that again. Oh, first spawn battle mask. We got our uh, Gek helmet. I love it. We have to go to the uh, space anomaly in order to get that and unlock it. Well, we've unlocked it, but we need to equip it on the uh, space anomaly or an appearance modifier. I think appearance modifier. I don't think we need to claim it from the Quicksilver merchant. I think it's automatically claimed, but you know, just in case you would go to the space anomaly just to be double sure. Well, let's go to a different, um, what else we got going on here? Actually, actually. Well, you know what? While we're here, where are you at? Oh, there's a broken, uh, a damaged one right here. Let's see if we could do this. Come on. I might not, just because it's a pain in the butt. It's kind of boring. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna mess with that. All right, we're gonna we're not gonna go on any more freighter missions anyway, because I'm not a big freighter trade mission kind of person, player. So, uh, eh, we need to find a new system though, an uncharted system. So again, we're gonna keep going down. This one looks good right here. Boom, just choose it at random, whatever you want to choose. And because you're going up and down, I'm in an uncharted area. Most other players haven't come to this part of space in the galaxy yet, so I can find a whole bunch of uncharted systems. You're just looking for, when you first load in, it says first contact. You see how it says first contact? That's what you want to see, because that will add to my number. I should be at 10 now. Yep, 10 out of 35. We just need 25 more. Oh, man. But yeah, if anyone else found it, it wouldn't count, and it would also say, hey, look, this was found by whatever, whoever the name was. You know, and it would let you know, hey, look, someone else already found this, so good luck. This is not going to count. Dang it. But the other benefit of doing this early on would be that you can find a whole bunch of systems because you're going to need a lot of space stations in order to get your expedition, uh, your Explorer's Guild missions. So there we go, number 11. Man, we are doing good. We'll do two more real fast. And then we'll start doing expeditions or explore guild missions. And I'll show you how I try to clean up as much as possible at once. Because there's a way to go through. If you went to from space station to space station, you can pick up the same mission multiple times. And once you complete it once, you complete it every other time you've picked it up. So if you pick up five missions that say, hey, look, you need to go collect, you know, uh, you need to go kill 15 animals. But if you pick up five missions that are like that, all you do is go kill 15 animals and you completed all five missions at once. It's a very quick way to do it and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So we found this one, all right. We are at 13, oh no, 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 no. Sorry, let's do one or let's do two more because I don't want to stop at 13, that's a bad number. So we're not gonna stop at that one. We're gonna do two more, we'll stop at 15. But I don't want that bad number following me around, so. You know, I'm, I'm not generally superstitious. Or stupor. I'm not generally superstitious, but I just don't like to, to uh, I don't like to, to have that in my favor. Whether, you know, it affects my uh, my luck, even a, like 1%, I don't want that 1% against me. So I will go to a different one. To, I will avoid, you know, 13 or whatever. You know, just as a general basis. I don't know about you guys. I. Well, whenever I'm at the store, I think it's only happened to me like twice in my entire life. But I've gone through the store when you go to the checkout and it says, oh yeah, here's is $13 flat. I'm like, whoa, 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 I'll buy a candy bar or something just to make it 14. Or even worse, if it's like uh, $6.66, I'm like, no, no, no. Not doing a $6.66, I don't want that kind of bad luck in my life. So I will go buy, I will buy whatever, like a pack of gum or whatever's right next to the cast register. I will just do that just to throw off the number. <laughs> it's so weird. 
I don't know if you guys do the same thing or not. I mean, and how often does that happen? It never happens. I think you had, like, again, it's happened like twice in my entire life. And I've been around for a while, you guys. Many decades. And so it's only happened twice. Not, the twice that I can remember. And I, that usually sticks out to me. Like if you, they say, oh yeah, your, your total is whatever, whatever. I'm like, okay. But when they say your total is $6.66, I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's buy this candy bar. <laughs> Oh, uh, so yeah, it doesn't happen very often, so, but I will just do it just to, just to tip the scales in my favor. Even if it's like a 1% chance or like 0.1%, I'm okay. All right, so this is where you would find all of your missions for your Explorers Guild, and I, I know we've done this before, but I want to go through it again just in case someone didn't catch that episode. And what you're looking for is like this one right here, Level 1 Explorers Guild Mission. You need to do 35 of these missions right here. But you want to make sure they're easy, and every space station will have a different one. And so this one's to take a, a photo on a volcanic world. That is very specific and very hard to do. And so we're not we're going to ignore that one. We want to, the ones that are general, like, hey, scan for plants. Hey, go do this. Or, hey, go, you know, kill this many animals. So that's what we're going to do. But again, like I, I said, we are actually going to go all the way down to the bottom. This is the oldest system we have not been to, so... This all this list is is in order of your um, space stations you've been to. So this one at the top left, that is the station I just came from. Then the next one is the second station. So two systems to go, three systems to go, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. So if you go all the way to the bottom, this is the one that we were like way long, like days ago. This is the last station we were at way long time ago. So we want to go here because this is the oldest one. And we will just keep going through that list. So once we go to this one, it'll get moved to the top of the list because it's the most recent one. And, you know, well, actually, technically it won't because you can't teleport to the, the same system. So it will be removed from the list. And then when we leave from this one, it'll be put at the top, if you know what I mean. So the last system we were in is going to be at the top of the list and so on and so forth. So that's how you would run in that if you want to do that. You don't have to do it that way. That's the way I like doing it. So, uh, oh, look at Level 1 Explorer's Guild Mission. Scan Minerals. I like doing this one because you can get all the scan minerals off of one planet. So we will, tr we will take this one. So we have to have a Scan Minerals mission. Now, the only downside is that is for a specific planet. So you can't just accept that and move on unless you get another one. So I have to find, an I have to find another space station that has Scan Minerals in it. Because it, once you have that one ready to go, then it'll it'll mark the closest system to whatever space station you're on. That way, you know, it says, oh, okay, you know, you have to scan minerals on this planet, and it happens to be one system away. Well, if you keep teleporting to different systems, you'll be way far away from that initial, that original scanning planet, and you'll be kind of screwed. So you want to make sure that the last one you accept is the scanning mi uh, minerals mission. Scanning flora. Okay, we'll do that too. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. And worst case scenario, if it's just totally messed up, like if you teleport between a whole bunch of different systems and you're like, wow, I am totally lost. I don't know where to go. All you have to do is go into your log. And if you need to, like if you just cannot find the system or if it's way off and you're like, dude, it is not worth the time, effort, and energy, you can just come over here to abandon mission and you can get rid of it. It'll just cancel the mission out. And you don't get anything, but you don't lose anything. It'll just take it off of your uh, your mission list. That way you don't have to worry about it. There we go. We have our, our scanning minerals mission and our flora mission. But that's okay. We're going to go to uh, space stations again. We're going to keep going. I'm really looking for the uh, killing animals or killing predators or killing sentinels. Those kind of Those kind of missions are very easy to do. And it seems like Hello Games kind of caught on to it because Hello Games, all of a sudden, I can't find those missions very often. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I have bad luck. But it seems like all of us caught on to it, and so the first couple of weeks of the expedition, that was the way to do it. Um, Explorer Guild mission, kill 15 creatures. There you go. That's what I was looking for. See, I complained about it, and all of a sudden it comes up. But yeah, it, it seems like Hello Games, like Sean Murray was listening to us, and he's like, oh, that's how you guys are doing it. And so they just put out a little bit of a, a, a little update, a little patch, to say, no, 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 that mission won't come up as, as frequently. That way it's harder to do. 
Now, maybe it's just my bad luck, I don't know, but it feels like they kind of, they turned the dial. They didn't turn it off completely. It's not a switch. It's more of a dial. They dialed it back and said, okay, yeah, that, that mission will still show up, but it's not going to show up for a while, so it won't be worth the time effort, but they, you know, Sean Murray underestimates my time and my effort. <laughs> or maybe overestimates is the better word. He overestimates how much I value my time. I will go through all of these. Oh, look at 15 creatures again. So that's what you want to do. You want to keep stacking these ones. So now that I have two of these missions for killing 15 animals, 15 creatures, if I, if I, if I just kill 15 right now, I will complete both of those missions right at the same time. And so you want to stack as many of those as possible. Space station, we go down to the bottom. The most, you know, the, the last one we visited way a long time ago. And so, yeah, you want to stack as many of those as possible. Man, it feels like Sean Murray listens to me as I'm recording and making these videos because what did I, I just complained about it like three minutes ago and all of a sudden, now all of the 15, kill 15 creatures missions keep coming up. Now watch, I drink, I jinxed it. Let me uh, uh, knock on wood. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to. Come on, give it to me again, please. Oh, there we go. Scan minerals. And so if we complete this scan minerals, then we will complete both of them. Since we have two scan mineral missions, if I complete this one, it'll complete all of them together. But we're going to keep going, so that's going to make it a little bit harder. Now I really have to get a scan mineral mission if I keep going. Because I'm going to need whatever the more uh, recent one is. That's the one you need to be activated. Because that's going to that's gonna be the one that's closest to you. So, and, and I don't know if you guys noticed, by the way, that the timer for the expedition's missions, or the expedition to be completed, has gone down. It's less than two weeks now. It was a month, so it was the end of May. It seems like now it's the middle of May. And so just keep that in mind. If you're trying to, oh look, kill 15 creatures, I like it. And it's an explorer's guild. Remember to keep an eye on that, because sometimes it'll come up as a merchant guild, or a mercenary's guild. You don't want any of those ones. I mean, you can do it, sure, but if you're trying to just do the Explorer Guild missions, do that. Just keep, you know, focus on it. Make sure it's on the Explorer's Guild mission. But yeah, we only have, we have less than two weeks now, so that's like the middle of May. So I don't know what that means. I don't know why the timer switched, because it was scheduled for the end of May, like the last week of May. Now it's the middle of May, and so... Does that mean that we're getting an update in the middle of May, maybe? I don't know. Did they plan on having it at the end of May, and then they were like, oh, well, we're actually ahead of schedule, so we'll bump it up? I don't know. Or maybe they were just looking at everyone's progress like, okay, we made all these missions out, you know, but Jason and Survival Bob and Captain Steve, they just blew through the expedition, and so there's no need for it to be that long because everyone's getting it done so fast. Nope, kill 15 creatures again. There we go. But yeah, maybe Hello Games is looking at their stats and they're like, okay, all of our players are completing the expedition mode really, really fast. And so it doesn't need to be two months long. It needs to be less time. And so that's why maybe, maybe that's the case. I don't know. But I do, I am wondering what the rewards are going to be for the next expedition. I assume there's going to be a next expedition. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is a one-off. Like, okay. I don't know why they would make it a one-off since they are they put it in the main menu. Like, it's not a special thing or anything like that. It is literally built into the game. So I would imagine that we're going to have another... Uh, look at that! 15 creatures! Wow! Dude, we are kicking butt with the 15 creature thing. Seriously, we're going to have like 10 of those in a second. But yeah, so I assume that once this expedition is over, once the time has run out on this one, they will start a brand new expedition mode and we'll have another time frame. I think the time is going to be shorter. Maybe they'll give us one month to do it. Like it'll be a new monthly thing, you know, different expeditions every month. That's what I have a, I have a feeling that's what it's going to be because it seems like they set it for two months thinking that it was going to take us longer, but it's just everyone blew right into it. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know what the rewards are going to be. Do you think they're going to keep giving us new ships? Like, we have the Golden Vector. That's a really cool ship, but I would like it to have... Take a uh, fatal photo on a volcanic world. No, we don't want that. And there's no other ones here. Dang it. All right, that's the first one we've had in a while that didn't have any missions for us that we wanted. 
But yeah, I like the golden vector for sure, but there's nothing special about it other than the paint job. Like, it is, it is an S-Class, of course. It is the best kind of uh, fighter you can get. But there's nothing special about the stats. Like, they didn't increase anything on it. They don't make it like a rare ship. Like, I can go out and go get any other fighter and just fully upgrade it to an S-Class and it would be the same as the Golden Vector other than the paint job. And so I, I'm hoping that maybe they add different features to a, uh, a ship. Like, maybe they add unique technology that can only be found on your golden ship. Uh, Explorer's Guild, take a photo on a marsh one. Nope. Don't want to do that. But yeah, uh, I'm hoping that they add a- either- maybe they add a technology, or maybe they pump up the stats. Like, your damage is totally through the roof, or your shields are totally through the roof. So you can- you know, your shields are so powerful that it would- it takes forever to take any damage. Something like that. To make it special and make it useful because the Golden Vector, I already had two fighters that were fully maxed out. And I, I prefer them actually because I've actually took the time, effort, and energy to uh, max out all of the stats on it. Like I was buying different upgrades and maxing out, getting the biggest percentage I could. And so they're better than the Golden Vector. Which I mean, I like the Golden Vector because, oh, kill three Sentinels, we could do that one. I like the Golden Vector because it looks cool, but, I mean, eh, it doesn't- it's not as good as my other ships. And so, yeah, I would love to see something special about the ships other than their paint job. The paint job is cool! The paint job is awesome, and I mean, and I understand why they're doing it. They don't want to give it an advantage to other players. Like, okay, we don't want to give you a special weapon that you can just destroy other people with. That's not fair. But, I mean, I go I go in between. I understand that reasoning, but also, they're giving us enough time, and, you know, if someone doesn't want to do it, then they obviously don't want that thing. And so, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not the fault of the other players that do have it, I guess. Kill three Sentinels. Oh, we're getting really good out here. Okay, we got a whole bunch of missions now, you guys. So now, what I'm going to look for is another one that's Scan Minerals. Once we get another Scan Minerals mission, that's when I'm going to stop and we will start getting- completing all these missions. But as of right now, like, if I try to go and complete the Scan Mineral missions, it will tell me to go way back to the other, uh, space station I went to. And so I don't even know where that is because I'm teleporting between space stations. I don't even know where that is. And so it'll take me forever to find it. So what you want to do is you want to wait for it to pop up again. And that way you can just scan the ones on that more recent one and you're good to go. Oh, look at that, like that one right here, boom. Scan mineral, so we're gonna actually complete this one. Thought-provoking knowledge. So this that's the one we're gonna do. We don't have any other ones here, nope. All right, so is that one I already have? Yep, thought-provoking knowledge, all right. So that's why you wanna do that, because if I was to go to any of the other scan mineral missions, it would mark a location way far away and I'd have to manually travel there. It's a pain in the butt. You don't want to deal with it. Whereas in this one, all I have to do is go out here and it, it'll be in a system close by. Nearby system. So there you go. See, it's marked right there. So it's just one system away. I have to go here and scan minerals. And while I'm down here, I'm going to be killing animals and killing sentinels. And I should have a whole bunch of missions to turn in. So that's why you would want to do that. I stacked up a ton of them. We should be pretty dang close. If not, you know, completed, at least really close to completing it. And while we're here, let me make some, uh, oh man, I definitely need to clean out my inventory. Wow, my inventory is totally full of junk and stuff. Wow. Oh, we bounced off the atmosphere. That's okay. Mineral survey location. Now, again, remember, this, these missions are kind of glitchy, they're kind of buggy. And so sometimes it won't count the minerals you're scanning. Like if you land here and you start scanning stuff, sometimes it won't even count. Like it'll just stay at zero. Okay, come on, let's land somewhere. Thank you. But all you have to do is go to the other location because it'll just move the marker for the mission start. That's okay. So don't get too freaked out about it. It's going to be kind of buggy. Yeah, like that one. Scan unique minerals. Three. I have zero out of three. What? What? Really? 
It said to scan him here. So I'm guessing none of these are? No, don't worry about it. It is complete once you hit that number, but it just won't won't update that number until you've gone somewhere else. So just to be safe, I'm gonna scan a whole bunch of stuff. That's a plant. I mean, we can scan whatever you want. I'm just, I'm more focused on the rocks at the moment. The, uh, wait, 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 what was that? Go back, go back, go back. Good to kill animals too, by the way. Sorry, little puffer fish. I have to kill you because I need to complete my mission. Don't blame me, blame Sean Murray. He's the one who's making me do this. There we go, number three. And you see, see, still my number is at zero out of three. And so it, don't worry about that. It's not, it's, it's a bug that is not keeping count, but you've already done it. Like I've already scanned, what, four different rocks? We're good on that. Death, wow. That's the other thing too. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but man, when the storm happens, they brought back the whole storm volume is way too loud. <laughs> because geez, I go deaf every time there's a storm. All right, let's scan. And animals count as those red dots or green paw if you've already scanned it. Like if I try to kill these little fish right here, it won't count because they're like background fish. Those are the fish that don't count. They're just there for scenery. They don't really count as animals on this planet. Those ones do, but they're way far away. Where are my animals? Hundred, okay, all my animals are way far away. Oh, other than these guys. I'm gonna kill all the puffer fish in this uh, lake. We keep going, and I should be pretty, pretty doing pretty good here. We've scanned a whole bunch of rocks. Now, the other thing is I always get worried. Sometimes it won't count the number if you uh, if you don't have the mission selected. Like, okay, it's still counting. I still have nine out of 15. We're okay. Thought provoking knowledge. So it's, it's technically counting. Nine out of 15. So we just need, what, six more? Hey, buddy. So five more now. Yep, and all these fish don't count. They're just part of the scenery. Dang it. There's another puffer way over there. And the puffer fish are really easy. Like these guys don't put up much of a fight. I'm okay with that. It makes it easy for me. I don't I don't feel too bad. I do feel a little bit bad. I hate doing the kill animal missions, but I have to do it. I Sean Murray's making me do it, you animals. Please. Don't hold it against me. Don't judge me too much. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. There we go, we got our animal missions done. What we need to do now is we need to make these sentinels angry. That way they come after us. We need to kill at least three sentinels. And I forgot, I didn't even pay attention. This is a good sentinel uh, planet. It is a uh, isolated sentinels. That's not a good sign. That means that the sentinels are very infrequent. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't do that. We need to thought-provoking. We need to do our scanning minerals missions. Yeah, uh, we're not going to have a very easy time looking for animals or uh, sentinels. What we can do is... Do I have any maps? I do have a map. Okay. Emergency cartographic data. Maybe, possibly, it will mark a location for us. That way we can actually... If it's a secured facility, oh, or we have a mission right here. A, uh, we have a, a well, I shouldn't say a mission. We have a, uh, unknown building. Good Lord, my brain wasn't working there for a second. We have an unknown mission or unknown building over here. Maybe this will be a secured facility because if you go to a secured facility or a resource depot, they will have sentinels guarding it so you can get it that way as well. And if you have a map for secured facility, you can go that route as well to scan for it. Dang it, I was hoping. But we can get our save beacon here. So we'll just keep on adding to our save beacon. There we go. Cinco de Mayo. Don't judge me. What are you doing out here? You're out in the middle of nowhere, dude. What the heck? What are you doing? Something is pathetic, interloper. You. Something you. What? Vikings seems at peace out here with no one 
with the elements, at one with the elements. They grunt a greeting and apparently doubting my own endurance skills freely recharge my life support. Well, thank you. He's just like a peaceful wanderer. Okay. I could take that. I could dig that. But you're not a secured facility. I need sentinels, man. Come on. I just want to I just want to take out sentinels. You think a viking would appreciate that? I would just tell him, "Hey, look, call in the sentinels. I want to prove my 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 battle readiness. I want you to see how strong I am." But uh he obviously didn't care. Oh yeah, we have our Oh yeah, wait a minute. Let's go over here. See how it moved? This mineral survey location moved way over here. That's what I mean. It's a weird buggy thing. That's not a secure facility. What is this? This is a uh, abandoned building. There's not going to be sentinels over here. And I already got my... Oh yeah, I forgot to do the whole trying to kill biological horrors. I know, you guys. I messed up the last time. I, I complained that biological horrors didn't count, but I also didn't kill any biological horrors, so how in the world are they supposed to count if I didn't even do it? But yeah, and so look at the mineral location moved. And so as soon as I land over there, because I've already scanned a whole bunch of minerals, the mission will complete itself. So it's a weird bug. I don't know if that's intended or not, or if they, it just doesn't, it doesn't register correctly. I don't know. I'm looking for any kind of a, let's see. I'm going to mark an emergency location. Whoa, why would it go all the way back there? Okay, I guess that's where I landed. Okay, a freighter crash site. That's not going to give me a good location, so eh. I don't have a secured facility map, so I'm not really worried about that. Oh, look at we're over water. Oh, no, never mind. It just took a second for the land to, to load in. And we're over a lot of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the outer atmosphere and pulse drive. I love doing this. Still one of my favorite things to do. Get outside of the cloud layer and boom. You can go all the way across the planet in seconds. The thing is that we're looking for a secured facility or some kind of a, a resource depot or something like that. Because Sentinels will be there. There's something over there, but we're going to land over here first because this is our mineral location. And watch it. As soon as we land, it'll say it's complete. You have to get out of your ship, though. Keep that in mind. Get out of your ship. And return to mission agent. Yep, mission is complete. Return to the mission agent. There you go. And so, yeah, just keep that in mind. What is this? Someone's plant? Oh, yeah, we went to a... Uh, a system we've already been to, so it's probably a system that everyone else has been to as well. Are you serious? We're not going to find any secured locations? I could have sworn there was a animal or a uh, a thing over here. God, an unknown building. Jeez, my brain. Obviously, I'm tired. Not as tired as Survival Bob, but holy mackerel. And it's just a normal habitable building. That's not what we're looking for. It did have a save beacon. I should be going down and doing that, but I'm really wanting to kill a couple of sentinels. That, well, I need mean, three sentinels. That's all I need. Three sentinels and I'm good. Well, here, you know what? We need to sell some stuff out of our inventory anyway, so what better place than the miner settlement? We'll get rid of our uh, all of our uh, treasures that we got, our buried uh, treasures, submerged treasures, really quickly. We're going to sell to this kiosk right here. We're going to sell and we get rid of all the weird stuff like the outrageous ring for 165,000. That's okay. Um, get rid of some crystal sulfide. We don't need any more of that. Get rid of my salt. I don't care. Cytophosphate. Hypnotic guy we're going to keep because I like those. That's kind of cool. The living pearl we're going to keep. I'll put it in my, uh, my freighter because, uh, my freighter can hold all that stuff. Chlorine. Eh. Haunted Jelly? Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Iridescent Cephalopod. Cephalopod. Iridescent Cephalopod. Blah, blah, blah. Cannot speak. I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> Void Egg we're going to keep. Hypnotic Gel Sack? We're going to get rid of that. The Void Egg we could do our, uh, uh, our living ship mission with that. So definitely keep that. Meaty Chunks from all the, the animals we killed. We can get rid of those. Mordite? I don't want... I don't care. Sulfurine, we can get rid of that. Navigational data, we have a ton of that, so we can get rid of some of it right now. 
And I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm going to look back through one more time. Because sometimes it changes order on you. All right, then we're going to change to our starship. Anything in here we need to get rid of? We can... No, because we have 26 navigational data in there. We're good on that. Uh, no, we're good on everything. Now we should have a ton of room. Oh, yeah, look at all that room we made. So, hypnotic eye, can I transfer it to my freighter? Yep, teleportation enabled. So, we'll move that over there. Chlorine, we'll move over here. And a living pearl, we'll move over here. Our void egg, we'll move in there just because I want to keep it safe. I don't want to accidentally sell it because I have been known to do that because I'm very smart. Oxygen, do we not have any room for oxygen? Oh, yeah. What the heck was that about? Why was the oxygen in there? Oh, yeah, we can move our support gels now, finally. We can put that over here. And over here. I like having them over on the right-hand side. Don't ask me why. It just makes sense. I like all my blue materials close together because they look the same. So there we go. Oh, whoa, we have way too much oxygen. Look at that. We can stack those together. I don't know why we have that much. Oh, yeah, we were going to do expansion. I don't need the money. I'm okay with that. So, yeah, look at all that room now. Perfect. And since we landed here, let's hit that save beacon. Get that thing going. We should only need 11 more, I think. Maybe 10 more. I still haven't seen any sentinels around. You would think that sentinels would just even one, but eh, this planet. It's awesome if you're, you're looking for, you know, a planet that doesn't have very many sentinels. But other than that, if you're looking for a planet with sentinels, go somewhere else. Because, yeah, there's nothing. Usually they would pop up as a red little beacon as well. Nothing. All right. Well, dang it. I just need like three sentinels. Come on. Give me those sentinels. Nothing for me? Are you a, a secured facility, please? No, you're probably an abandoned building. You are... Yep, abandoned because you can see from the eggs on the outside. That's an abandoned building. Sometimes the... Uh... Oh, secured facility right here. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. And in general, you, you kind of get the feel for buildings. After you play the game for a while, you can kind of notice like, okay, this is what this building looks like. You know, an abandoned building really looks similar. And also you can tell there's little egg patches around it. This is what I was looking for. Where's my Sentinels at? There you are. That's what I was looking for. Hey, buddy, I got a scatter blaster with your name all over it. Come here. Got you. That's one. Two. Three. I think that's it, right? Yes. All we need to do is get three of them. We are totally safe now. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. So we killed the three sentinels we needed. Now we need to get out of the area. That way they stop looking for us. 30 seconds. Okay. So in 30 seconds, we will fly to the space station. Because you don't want to go out into space right now. They'll send in the uh, Sentinel uh, starships. And you do not want to mess around with those. And the Sentinel freighter, if you're if you're really messing around, they will send in the Sentinel freighter to mess you up. So we'll wait, it, we'll wait that out. And done, son. That was easy enough. So now, once we go to the space station, we'll be able to turn in all of those missions. You'll see. When you go to the option to hand in missions... There's going to be a huge list of them now because we've completed all of them that we com we picked up. So we picked up a whole bunch of them. And now we're going to be able to just say, yep, here we go. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I, I wish that it would do it automatically, but nope. If you're in pulse drive, they just stop you. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to refill that real fast. Pyrite. Hyperdrive. Oh, nope, not worth it. Because this warp hypercore will fill it to 100% no matter what. And I'm only halfway empty, so I'm only 62%. So I want to get that, that down way close to zero. Alrighty, so let's go over here, and we are going to turn in some missions. It's going to be amazing. Let's get over here. Oh, look at there's some uh, travelers. Okay. And it doesn't matter which station agent you go to. You can go to any one of them, and they'll say, okay, they'll accept all of your missions. So don't worry about going back to a specific one. So let's go to hand in missions. And look at all these missions that are completed. Look at all of them. All of them are done. So let's do this one real fast. The only part is, I wish they didn't do this loading screen. I mean, I get it. They're, they're trying to go through the system and give you all of it. But I wish it was faster. I wish I could just, you know, turn them all in at once. Yeah, look, at you just have to do one at a time. 
plus one, plus two now. We're doing, this is number three. Let's see how many we did. I think we got like, what, 10? 10 or 12, I believe. That's number three though. Number four. And yeah, this is the bad, this is the part that's like, uh, okay, I would normally fast forward this or whatever, but I can't trust future Jason. Number five. I can't trust future Jason. He, I don't know if he would or not, especially this deep into the video. I might forget and just, you know, do it because I don't know. That's number six. Um, come on. And number seven. Oh, look at that. We only have like 10 actually. Dang it. I thought we had more than 10, but it looks like we have around 10, maybe 11. Number eight, nine. Ooh, we have exactly 10 missions. Okay. And we got all these items now. You can keep it or you can sell it or whatever you need to do. Sometimes they give you trade items. That way you can sell it. Sometimes they give you like starship fuel and I'm like, I don't really need that. So I'm probably going to sell that. You don't get very much money for it. I mean, you do, but not as much as you would like. Not as much as some of these uh, stations charge for launch fuel, I'll tell you that. They charge a great sum, a lot of money for that. All right, so we did all of that. Boom, and now we have another set of skill, another set of things. Oh, we can do this scan flora because we also have another one in our, our inventory, so we can do two for one. Well, how close are we? Let me look at this. How close are we? Expedition. We've done phase three. We're on to phase four. We're at 18 out of 30. Okay, so we just need to do 12 more. That is pretty awesome. We have a 15 out of 35, so we need 20 more of those. And then we just need to get our uh, waypoints. Oh, man, we are doing really rock solid. I know I said this last time, but I think we're getting close. We might be able to do it in the next episode. So hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I will see you guys next time.